We're going to your phone calls here in just a moment, but the break interrupted Dr. Horowitz. Dr. Horowitz, you're talking about this being a crime syndicate, a racketeering operation. All the evidence is there. You were finishing up with studying medical criminology, uh, and, we're, and then we're going to go to calls. Go ahead. Well, again, you know, there's so much evidence that shows when a child is traumatized, and basically that's how medicine is actually, uh, the doctors are actually Manchurian candidates, licensed to kill their brainwashed mind control slaves by trauma. The whole medical education process reflects what takes place, has got to take place in serial killers' minds, because what happens, the neurology gets crossed. What brings people, uh, normal people, joy brings them uh, anxiety. And what brings normal people fear and horror brings them joy. Instead of nurturing, they enjoy strapping a child down and ripping their teeth out with pliers. Yeah, they, they actually do. That's exactly how organized serial killers feel and think. And because of the trauma that they sustain when they're child, their children. Look and at I Stalin, suspect, look at Hitler, look at Mao. Yeah, and this is what's going on in these secret societies. They're basically, you remember there was a reporter several years ago that was, I believe he was killed after going in and George H.W. Bush was asked, you know, what about the skull and bones? And he laughed. Well, that, that reporter was, was actually uh, videotaping them conducting mock killings. And so this is kind of what we're dealing with. We're not dealing with normal human beings. And that this is what your, your number one risk in society is. As a behavioral science expert and a, social, a medical sociologist, I can tell you that the number one risk that people have this concept that there can't possibly be people who are so evil, when in fact it is your love, it is the, the truth in your heart that, that really is, it's inconceivable to you that people could do this. That That's your, your blind spot. Risk. That's why women, you know, got in the yellow Volkswagen with Ted Bundy. Look at this evidence. Eco-science alone, when he went before Jay Rockefeller to be confirmed as the White House science czar, and we have these clips in the upcoming film, Jay Rockefeller worships him. They worship Zbigniew Brzezinski because he brags he helped kill three million in Cambodia funding that. That's their rock stars. To them, they want control so they can kill, just like other tyrants, when they get control, suddenly start setting up death camps in every case. This is their beauty. Black uniforms, piles of dead bodies, torture, screaming, death, hellraiser, event horizon type stuff. This is what they're into, and eco-science is admitting they want to kill at least 80% of us, and they believe it's beautiful, and uh, it's totally sick, and they put their messages everywhere. I was telling people earlier, Dr. Horowitz, I was watching uh, this morning on the treadmill, I was jogging, I was watching uh, Mark Wahlberg's film uh, uh, titled The Happening, where the environment gets mad and the plants kill everybody by making them commit suicide with a chemical the plants release. And as this guy is being run over by a lawnmower, he turns on the big lawnmower, the big riding mower, runs it over him. It cuts to a billboard that says, this is what you deserve. And, 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 and it's all these movies and all these shows about everybody dying from a bio-release. They are getting everyone ready for this mass killing. Right. You know, and again, to do that, you're not dealing with anything normal. It's either extraterrestrial or it's trauma-based, uh, you know, human that's become a organized mass murderer. And that the... By the, extraterrestrial, you mean demonic? Uh, uh, yeah, I, again, because, uh, you know, I have a, a spiritual orientation and... Basically, you know, it's talked about in the Bible. There's things called Nephilim, fallen angels, who come into the daughters of men, change the genetics, and that's why it rained for 40 days and 40 nights back in Noah's age. We're dealing with the genetic engineers of today. And, you know, my own orientation to this is that, you know, the Creator is not going to stand for it. You know, there's nothing more powerful than the Creator in the universe, and we who are working for the Creator... You know, there's a lot more light than darkness, and basically... You know what's funny? Flee. The transhumanists that I cover in Endgame, to a man, Kurzweil, all of them, say they're going to be gods, they're going to become creators, they're going to merge with machine, and then they're going to kill the rest of us. That's and to a man... Is, yeah. That's I mean, what they're up to. And I mean, you, even if this isn't real, I mean, even if they're just delusional, these people are crazy. They're out there. They're completely gone. And, and the sad thing is that the normal human being can't conceive of the devil
foolishness of these people and what the risk is to them for not waking up. Sherry? I, I believe that these people are definitely worshipping Satan. Um, if you even watch the film Eyes Wide Shut, one of uh, Stanley Kubrick's last film, it gives you an example of the kind of people they are. And the By the way, of- they, they killed him and cut 25 minutes out. I have that from sources in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. I believe but, but, that. You know, I snuck into the Real Eyes Wide Shut Bohemian Grove. Yeah, wow. that's great. Yeah. I, I applaud you. It's amazing. I, I, I mean, I knew that something happened with him because he was really revealing. All of his movies were about based on truth. And Well, I mean, here's an example, Sharon, that I want you to comment on that. Uh, Dr. Eric Bianca, who made headlines three years ago, two and a half years ago, saying, I want a weaponized Ebola to be released, kill 90%. I'm ready for my family to die. I want to die. Rob Jacobson was at Whole Foods the other day. The girl saw him with the, uh, somewhere in my stack, Newsweek, the case for killing Granny and how great it is to kill the old people. And he said, well, th- they want to kill you too. And she said, good, I need to die. Humans are bad. But, but going back to Bianca, you go to his UT website. I checked it again a month ago. It's still there. This is the official UT website. It's him dressed as a druid with a big beard. And talking about how much he loves Lucifer on the UT website. And every time you research Maurice Strong or any of them, they are completely open worshipers of Lucifer. Go ahead. Well, I mean, the whole idea uh, that the Satanism is even much more mainstream than people realize. I mean, look at all the followers of L. Ron Hubbard, who was a well-known Satanist. Uh, this man was uh, following Aleister Crowley. And there were so many people involved in his group. So if you, you know, if you really research who's involved and all the people and players, they see it as not only, a, they don't see it less as a religion, but more of a, of a reason to do these killings. It's, it's a group. It's a social, it's a socialized, um, psychopathic um, organization. And, you know, the outcome is this indoctrination of the culture. We are an American medical culture that we've now been engineered, behaviorally, socially engineered to become. And this is the greatest challenge. You know, it is a complete fraud to say that the behavioral science is is a soft science compared to, let's say, you know, mathematics or physics. Those are considered hard sciences. But the truth of the matter is the most powerful and the most well-studied and meticulously directed science of all is the mass mind control mainstream media's behavioral science. And the Pentagon says that. They admit it. They, they say 90% of warfare is psychological. If the people will just become conscious of this, we can beat it. But if you won't wake up out of your trance, folks, there's no hope. Right. Leah, son is in school, has a story about the flu shot. Go ahead. Yes, hi. Um, first off, I want to say thank you for waking up. We've been listening to you for about a year, and um, this is the first time I've called. My son came home on Friday from school saying that uh, he was asked to escort a student to the front office who was ill. Um, they had placed a mask on the, chi- on the ill child's face and had my son escort him to the front office, to the clinic, um, while waiting to go back to his classroom. See, this is a fear-mongering indoctrination where they get everybody trained to freak out so the medical mafia can come in. So your son is escorting him. Go ahead. Um, in the office, he's waiting for his uh, somebody to walk into the class. Your nurse um, say to the child, I'm going to give you a shot just in case it's the swine flu. He watched the nurse give a shot. He then watched the nurse on speakerphone call the boy's parents afterwards and inform the parent that she had given the child a shot and that um, they needed to come pick him up. And the mother was furious as far as my son said. Her reaction was, what? I'm coming to get my child. Um, they went up to the school. What is the name of your school? This is huge. So without parent consent, your son saw them inject. What's the name of the school? The name of the school is Zelda Elementary School. It's an Orange County school. Okay, your phone's cutting out. Well, elementary in Orange County, Florida? Zellwood Elementary School in Orange County, Florida. And um, we spoke to them this morning. We spoke to the principal. We had a meeting with the principal. The principal said she was going to look into it. Um, my husband proceeded to leave. I stayed. I was going to go on a field trip today. Um, the principal then called me and my son, as well as the clinic nurse and his teacher, my son's teacher, into the office and um, intimidating sort of, asked my son, did you see this? 
And my son said, yes, I did. The nurse proceeded to stand up, smack her hand on the table violently, and call my son a liar. Um, completely upset, spoke with another parent of a student in the same class. She had no idea that anyone was in the school. We've gotten no notice that someone... Well, let me stop you. That's what they do. Obama says there's no shots, but we have the letters confirming from the nurses they're forcing them. My God, stay there, ma'am. Dr. Horowitz, we may have to keep you longer into the hour to take more of these calls. They're all lined up here with, with uh, people here witnessing this. I mean, this is this looks like this is criminal or this is true. It is criminal. It's absolute official criminal malfeasance and beyond gross negligence. Gross negligence is where you basically, you know what to do, but you don't do it. This is where there's an actual agenda to inject and 